There's a reason for everything, and it must have been meant for me to be home for four years to help him through this. You are now he is the Valley Victoria. I am one proud mother today. Yes, she is. I'm proud of you too, Brenda, because I know what you've been through. I love him. And, and I'm glad this is over. <laughs> glad it is finally here. It's almost, it's almost, it's almost over. over. But this is just one. The beginning. The beginning, as Prentice would say. And just like he told just me one when thing. I gave him the news that he was the valid victory. And what did he say? And now I've accomplished that too. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Roxanne. You're a proud sister. Are you? What do you want to say to your brother? I'm so proud. It should have been me. <laughs> it still can be you. You all congratulations, Prentice. Would you like to say, Eddie? Would you like to say a few things to Prentice? You know, I said bye. Say to Congratulations to his brother for and wish him a well-deserving uh, position in life. Very good. Okay, and his daddy. Would you like to say something to your son? My son, Prince Butler. Great work. Very proud of you. Did better than I thought you would. There you go. <laughs> next four. Yeah. Would you like to say something to Prentice? Sure, Prentice. It must be something about those Butler men. B is for brains. Keep up the good work. Good luck to you in college. Mama, you right in the front. Oh, yes, Mr. Prentice Butler. It's been four years, and I am just as proud of you as your mother is. And you have my utmost prayers. And I know you'll make the best person, because I know you're going to make us all proud of you. Would you like to say something to Prince? Would you like to offer him congratulations? Yeah. Joy, you want to congratulate him for many and many families to come. I thought those people are
extended family, friends and loved ones, ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to this graduation celebration. Mr. President, with your permission and by your direction, it is my signal honor, invested with the full authority and spirit of educators past, present, and future, on this 31st day of May in the year of our Lord, 1998, in the Archdiocese of Chicago and at 4930 South Cottage Grove Avenue in the city of Chicago, to declare the opening of these 36 commencement exercises in the life of Hales Franciscan High School. serve as alderman of the fourth ward. For most of my adult life, I was a high school social studies teacher. And this day brings back fond memories for me of other days, not all of them bright and sunny like this one, but other days in which I watched young people with whom I'd worked for many years walk forward as these young men did. And who helped these young men, who provided them with <laughs> Good afternoon, administrator, <laughs> faculty, staff, family, friends, and fellow classmates. Welcome to the 1998 Hills Franciscan High School commencement ceremony. Today is indeed 
a great day. A day of remembrance and also a day of great celebration. Hills Franciscan High School commencement ceremony. Thank you.
have the pleasure to present the chairman of our board of trustees, Mr. Michael Miller, and I will, before I ask him to come up, tell you one brief story about the first time I ever met Mr. Miller. He was in his office downtown, and I was not yet an employee of Hales Franciscan High School, and I was trying to make a good impression. And so I thought one of the things I ought to do is to let Chairman Miller know what type of commitment I would make to Hales Franciscan High School. And so I went in and I said, well, I'll be delighted to make at least a three-year com uh, commitment, Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller put his pen down on the table and said to me, Hales Franciscan will not reciprocate. mothers and fathers and guardians as well, and, and to the faculty and administration and all. Uh, I'm going to just speak for a couple minutes, and I'm going to focus on some suggestions that my, uh, my older brother gave to me before I headed out to college, because I'm going to give you just three fairly simple uh, pieces of advice. The first one is, going to college is a little bit like getting a great big bag of candy. It's a wonderful uh, opportunity. Every time you go out and have a good time, it's like you take a piece of that candy. You ready for college, young man? Ninety percent of success is showing up every day. Always go to class. You can catch up on your studies, but if you miss a class, that experience is gone forever. Besides that, it's been my experience, the professors always test you on what they said in class, but now the candidates point that I know at least 61 individuals have been waiting for, but there's probably a few individuals on the stage that have been waiting for this moment time to present the candidates for graduation. Okay. Successfully completed a prescribed course of study leading to the high school diploma and who are now recommended for you for such distinction. Mr. President. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees as President of Hales Franciscan High School, I now confer upon you the high school diploma with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Gentlemen, you may now turn your tassels.
Tyrone Drake.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hales Franciscan class of 1998. studious young men and they always studied together and they always kind of hung out together and they always either were cooperative or uncooperative together and uh, there's one young man who was in this group who never really said that much but you always knew he had a lot on his mind uh, this young man gives meaning to the phrase, still waters run deep. Yes. <laughs> he is a young man who is deep in thought mm -hmm. most of the time. Mm -hmm. He is a young man who strives with every uh, waking moment to improve himself, both academically and in other areas. He is a young man who will not accept mediocrity of himself and has so served as that example for his peers. He is a young man who has exemplified over four years the true meaning of scholarship. He is a young man who has lived the ideals of Hales Franciscan High School and has prepared himself so that when he matriculates at the University of Chicago in the fall, he will not only do well, but I expect that he will excel as he has done here at Hales Franciscan High School. He honors us. He honors his classmates. And I am honored to present to you our valedictorian, Prentice Buck. <laughs> Creating the future requires a plan, 
And over the last four years, creating a plan is something we have learned how to do. We have all, we all have a plan for our lives. The class of 1998 is going to go for and do things other people only dream about. Our promise to you, our school, parents, grandparents, relatives and friends, is that you'll be well represented in the 21st century by the class of 1998. I know it's a big case because I'm not, <laughs> I know it's a big case not because I have a vision the future, but because I know that the class of 1998 is going to create the future. Thank you. Yeah! Justice. Our families will present our The medals for academic excellence are awarded to those students who have the highest cumulative grade point average at the end of their four years of high school. Each of the recipients of the medals for academic excellence have achieved, achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher. The recipients of the medals for academic excellence are Stefan Hester, 3.63, who step up in the new top. Masaji Patrick, 3.71. Donnie Bowen, Jason Dawson, 3.86. Brian Coy, 3.91. Kevin Whitehead, 3.94. Anthony Fikes, 4.01. Rashad Gresham Travis. 4.03. Deshaun Harris, 4.12. Raymond McMurtry, 4.20. Antonio Burns, 4.22. Andre Culpepper, 4.26. Gerald Whittington, 4.32. Rasan Taylor, 4.33. Jason Lucas, 4.35. The Medal for Excellence in Foreign Language is awarded to Stefan Hester.
Franciscan teachings and practices both at home, in school, and also in his home parish. This student strives to grow spiritually, respect all authority, assume responsibilities, obey rules and regulations, manifest leadership qualities, contribute to the common good, develop abilities and talents, put time and talents to the service of others, participate in church, school, and neighborhood activities. I have the distinct pleasure to present three separate awards. The first is the Father Charles E. Payne Scholarship. Father Charles Payne, the Father Charles Payne Scholarship was created in 1995, Curtis Dugar. As all of you know, was a teacher of inner city youth in Washington, D.C for over 25 years. His commitment to the poor and to those in need was unmatched. He touched the lives of Hale's students by sacrificing a portion of his summer and coming to Chicago to paint the school free of charge in 1995. In 1996, he returned to the school to deliver a speech on service and volunteerism to the student body. His name. The scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who has demonstrated over his four years at Hales an outstanding commitment to volunteerism and service to those in need. This year's Robert Hogarney Scholarship for Service in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to Jason Lucas. Yeah. 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 
ability to nurture, teach, and develop not only our students' minds, but also their souls. Our goal, therefore, is to produce students who are well-rounded. The Alexander of Hales Award recognizes the student who has contributed to many in many different ways to the Hales community. The recipient of this medal should be an individual who is a leader, demonstrates spirit, participates in activities and athletics, as well as, as excels in the classroom. In other words, the recipient should epitomize what it is to be a Hales Franciscan High School student. The Alexander of Hales Award, which is voted on by the students, faculty, staff, and administration at Hales Franciscan High School is the highest and most prestigious honor bestowed upon a Hales student. This year, we are pleased to present the Alexander of Hales Award to Robert Williams. the best that we can. Number two, to be the best models of black male leadership and talent in our community and society. Put simply, to have endured the challenge and struggle of high school has been God's gift to you. What you become and do tomorrow is your gift to God. And so, we, the class of 1998, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To live unto perfect manhood. To live unto perfect manhood. Each day of our lives. Each day of our lives. In all that we become. In all that we become. In all that we do. In all that we do. I welcome my newest brothers into this august membership. Congratulations and God bless. Gentlemen, you may now be seated. I want to thank all of you because I know that without you, there's no way I would have this smile on my face, this song in my heart. Gentlemen, as graduates of Hales Franciscan High School, let me simply say this. You have a responsibility to all these people and all the people you'll soon meet. You have a responsibility to remember that without them, you would not be where you are. You have a responsibility to put a smile on their face and put a song in their heart. You have a responsibility to say thank you, as I say thank you to you. students and given such a great honor by my students brings me very low. It is truly a humbling experience. As you know, seniors, we are rapidly moving towards the close of one millennium and the birth of a new one. This institution, Hales Franciscan, in preparation for that change, has seen fit and proper that I not be a part of that vision. Hence, I was not invited to return next year. But that is of little consequence to me. I don't want to waste time with that. The time is too important to be wasted on things you cannot change. What is important is my hope that in 11 years of service to you, and I say to you, not this institution, but to you, the students that worked and played within these walls, have seen me in the halls, cafeteria, gymnasium, and passed through my classroom. It is my hope that my life and conduct have been an exemplary model for you. What is important as we move in a new direction is that life isn't always fair, but it is wonderful nonetheless. And you're going to find that out, I guarantee it.
before we have our solemn prayer and benediction, we announce that after the ceremony there will be a reception on the North Lawn. Congratulations. 